Good morning, everyone. It's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. And today's quote that I'd like to share with you is, when you know yourself, you are empowered. And when you accept yourself, you are invincible. Hmm. Have you thought this way? Do you know that when you spend time to know yourself, which is what I help clients do and patients do, to really understand themselves, their own motives, their own directions, their own thoughts, their processes of thinking that have led to certain words or actions. When people know themselves, it really does empower a person. So if you spend the time to whether through meditation, through prayer, through just quiet time, through walking in a forest, anything to really understand yourself at a deeper level, not on the superficial level of how you act or behave, but on a deeper level of what allows you to act as you do or speak as you do or think as you do. When you spend the time to actually go and understand that, it is truly empowering. Now, when we are really accepting ourselves fully, all the good, bad, and ugly, because all of us have all of that, that creates an invincibility. And the reason I believe that this quote, for me, the way it makes sense and really resonates with me, is that unless we're really accepting that there is good, bad, and not so great in our our own depth, that we can have certain um, experiences, anxieties, worries, fears, anything that is shaping who we are, then we are really in a place of accepting that, yes, without judgment, there is good and not so good in every one of us. Because when we can accept it within ourselves, we can accept it around ourselves. So then we have compassion for ourselves first and then compassion for the people around us. Right now in the social isolation time, I'm finding that there's a lot of families, a lot of couples, a lot of even individuals who are busy in their minds of judging others, blaming others, complaining about others. And really it's because they haven't truly understood what's most important to them. And so the things that are hitting their nerves are the things that are most important to them that are not somehow being shown from people outside of them. But are they showing that same level of compassion to themselves that this is something that's really important to me? So what do I do differently to put myself into a place where the things that are important to me come to me? And things can first from within ourselves that we're understanding compassionately the reason that something is hitting a nerve for me is because something that's important to me is not happening. But I need to make a change to be able to allow things that are really important to me to happen to me. So sometimes I'm seeing that uh, families are noticing the strain of being around their kids. And of course, there is that expectation of their parents are going to direct things and parents have to have extra time and extra energy and extra efforts to be there for their kids. And though there is truth in this too, there's also a really important time and space that's opened up in our lives right now to create a space of time that's just really the recovery time for the parents too. So how is that possible with kids taking up time and space? It's still possible. No matter what age your children are, it's possible to create a time that is just for you. So this might mean getting your child set up on a fun video game or a fun book to read or some fun music to listen to or busy with a task of some sort. Hopefully they're not infants because of course it is less easy in that time, though perhaps more easy that they might take a nap and that will give you an opportunity to take a little bit of time for yourself. But more often I'm hearing from people who have teenagers or adolescents, and there isn't as much need for the day-to-day -day time and space for these, these ages, but it's also a different sort of energy in the environment because if there's some anxiety, some depression, some sadness, some concerns coming from the child, it's impossible that the parent will not feel it. At the same time, making sure that you're making space for yourself to feel 
in the energy that will bring out the best of yourself is so important. When we think about energy again, when we think about vibrational energy, don't forget that your own vibrational space is also going to bring you the energies around you. So even though you might be looking at your child as having a very anxious state or very unsettled space right now, and you can see it very clearly in them, recognize that some of that is probably in you too. So the best space to diffuse that sort of energy is to have a little bit of space to get yourself back into the energy that's best for you, and then will be the best in the environment around you. You'll be surprised that likely your kids will actually resonate with your own energy when it's in that best energy too. I hope that this has been useful to you, and I hope that you will spend some time to go within to understand yourself first, and then allow yourself to get to that place of invincibility from that compassion that you've gained for yourself. Have a great day, everyone. And remember, transform your mind, transform your life. Have a great day.